What's up DBZ enthusiasts, RBG here hitting you guys up with some pretty awesome news regarding Dragon Ball Heroes. And that is the recent announcement that we have an anime covering the Prison Planet and Universal Survival arcs from the game and manga. This news is kinda ironic considering the fact that I've been covering the recent chapters of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes manga on my channel. Like I was one of the only few who's been covering this kind of content in the DB community. But now that this anime has been announced, almost everybody in their mama is gonna be covering this stuff now. Which I can't be mad at because DBH might seem like nothing more than your typical fan service, but when you look more into it, there's a lot of expanded lore that you won't necessarily find in the main Dragon Ball Z media. I believe for the most part, the community tends to look at DB hero related scans for official names of transformations like Ultra Instinct Omen Goku or Beyond Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, so there are definitely some things that work in tandem with the main products since the games work in conjunction with the Dragon Ball Super Show and some of the other games that come out. But anyways, this news came out a couple days ago, so I'm a little late on it and I apologize, but it came courtesy of Twitter user Youngco Productions and it reads as so. DBH's Universe Survival and Prison Planet arcs will be made into a RP anime. The first episode's pre-screening will take place on July the 1st at Aeon Lake Town. And although it's a RP anime, they'll mesh a few episodes together in order to extend its length. So yeah, it's essentially an anime that's gonna promote the game, which is a big deal in Japan. I'm guessing the first episode will officially be released around the same time Bandai wants to release that particular part of the game it's based off of, which is not really anything new because they have been doing this since Dragon Ball Heroes Inception. Their marketing plan is to provide people with an animated trailer that serves as sort of a synopsis. So say for example they have a seasonal arc or a gimmick called Ultra God Mission. The official DB Heroes YouTube channel will release an animated trailer followed by an in-game footage trailer. Like the latest trailer they've released features this sick ass golden cooler along with other characters like Android 21. Those are the latest antagonists who will play a major part of that particular mission. You also have characters like Few who disappeared after the cancellation of Dragon Ball Online but was brought back in some of the newer games like Xenoverse 2. He's also been marketed a lot in regards to this new Prison Planet arc so if you enjoyed him in Xenoverse you'll like him in this. Now to clear up the confusion on whether this anime is a tie-in with Dragon Ball Super or a continuation, it's not. So if there are any of you who got excited because you saw the Universal Survival arc in the title, you might want to reserve your expectations. This is nothing like the show. It's basically an arcade trading card simulator that allows you to play through various missions via updates. You have a few characters you can use like the mascot Beto or Beat, who essentially plays as an avatar for the main story and trailers. Beat's also been featured in the promotional manga that was worked on by Toyotaro shortly before he went on his hiatus and started working on Dragon Ball Super. Now that the series is over, or what most are assuming is in hiatus, he'll probably be pitching in on character concepts alongside the likes of other artists like Yoshitake Nagayama. If I'm not mistaken, Nagayama is working on the current issues of Super Dragon Ball Heroes manga that are sort of their own thing. Like, they tend to be a little different from the game and make their own plots for pre-existing characters and new ones we see in the games. And the cool thing about it is that unlike the main Dragon Ball canon that doesn't acknowledge the movie events, DB Heroes actually does. So if you ever want to see what happens if someone like Bojack returns to exact his revenge against Gohan, he'll most likely pop up and mention the events that took place in his movie. For example, there's these moments in the latest Dark Demon Realm chapter of the manga where Gohan and Trunk faces off against Lord Slug and Gohan remembers that whistling can hurt his ears. So fans who want more movie or GT characters featured in DB related content should definitely check out the Super Dragon Ball Heroes manga. I have a nagging suspicion that this new anime will follow a formula similar to Dragon Ball Super where the episodes will come out first and essentially the manga will adapt it and flesh out certain details that were overlooked. Because the Universal Survival and Prison Planet arcs are still relatively new in DB Heroes and the manga has yet to really cover all of that. As I mentioned earlier, they just finished wrapping up the Dark Demon Realm saga so it'll probably be a while until we get the current arcs. So similar to how Toyotaro goes in and fleshes out certain things that happened in the Dragon Ball Super manga, Nagayama will most likely be doing the same after the anime comes out. Like that's just what I'm assuming. As the Yonko Productions has stated, the few episodes will be combined to extend the length so it just might be a one shot movie. Speaking of movies, I heard that the staff that works on the Dragon Ball Super anime will be stepping in to help on this project, while a different team works on the newest movie that's coming out later this year. But anyways, this is a pretty cool announcement because Toei has been wanting to do a Dragon Ball Heroes anime way before Battle of Gods or DBS were introduced. 
and this is probably the best time to do it because Toei has multiple teams and artists who have a good idea of what Akira Toriyama would do if he was still heavily involved with these projects. Like Toriyama still is somewhat involved with some of the concepts and backstories but nowadays he has so many talented pupils who do a good job of mimicking his art style. And this new project can potentially motivate Toei and Bandai to do more. DB Heroes is more than a game, it's become a disambiguation of a ton of multimedia projects. You have the arcade machine, the DS games, the animated trailers, the mangas. Like a lot of people in the Dragon Ball fandom have been gushing to get a port of Dragon Ball Heroes for a while, but unfortunately it's exclusive to the Japanese arcades. I mean they're so exclusive you've had to actually go out of your way to find the actual DB Heroes YouTube channel. And I think that is for the most part deliberate with most of the Bandai JP related media because they probably want to keep it within that particular region of Japan. Like there are tons of Japanese related YouTube channels that do this and even go so far as to block the comments to prevent any outside foreigners from commenting. Which I'm guessing Bandai Japan does this because they have some kind of licensing agreement with Toei Animation that pretty much gives them the ability to do as they please with their products. This leads me to one of the biggest issues I think fans are going to have in regards to this anime. And that's the fact that since it's a DBH promotion, it most likely won't see any kind of localization outside of Japan. This may seem like a very big project, but when I see the word promotion, I worry that this is going to be a relatively small scale venture that isn't necessarily intended for demographics outside of the Japanese one. As much as we've been begging for a console port of DB Heroes and we want to read localized prints of the manga, it's just not going to happen. And the same can be said about Funimation potentially getting the rights and doing a dub for it. So it's going to be something within the same realm as Plan to Eradicate All Saiyans where it was used mainly to promote a board game and nothing else. Granted that story did get revived and featured in the Raging Blast video games, but Funimation still didn't provide a dub for it for whatever reason. There are so many weird things that could be holding these projects back. Now like a lot of you, I wish Toei and Bandai would really reconsider releasing this worldwide because as I said earlier, there are tons of what if moments we want to see. And one of the biggest ones is Super Saiyan Blue Goku vs SSJ4 Goku. That's arguably been one of the most debated battles that fans want to see and Bandai can finally put it to rest since that battle actually took place in the Dragon Ball Heroes video game and manga. I'm not gonna spoil who won, but the Goku from the main timeline encounters DB Heroes Goku or Goku Zeno. They realize they both have forms the other hasn't seen before and so they proceed to battle as Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan 4 respectively. There's also the continuation of the future Trunks in my story at the events of Super where Trunks returns to the present timeline to train with Goku and Vegeta on Beerus' planet. Like the possibilities are endless with this anime. If anything, I hope it does good in Japan because this could motivate them to do more episode specials in the future. I mean, I think we all know that there's going to be some badass out there who goes out of their way to sub the episode so we can understand what's going on. Like I'm a big time advocate for legal streaming, but I don't think Crunchyroll or any other legitimate streaming sites will be getting their hands on this anime. So websites like Kiss Anime are your best bet right now. Regardless, this is good news for all of us, especially the fans who are invested in Dragon Ball Heroes. Just think, we haven't seen GT characters like SSJ4 Goku in quite a long while. Like we've seen him in various cutscenes from video games, but it's nothing compared to watching him in a full episode with updated animation. Now when it comes to the actual length of the episodes, I'm not sure if they'll be your standard 20 minutes or something short. When I hear that they'll be meshed together, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that they'll be 5 to 10 minutes long for each individual episode since it's a relatively small scale project. I just hope it provides enough info in that small window of time it has because the Prison Planet Saga looks cool as hell. Like Trunks has a better design and I'm digging the Capsule Corpse logos on Goku and Vegeta's gear. Little details like that makes them stand out more, you know? But anyways, that's all the news I have for you guys today. What are your thoughts on this news? Are you excited that we could possibly see a battle between Super Saiyan Blue and SSJ4 Goku? Or do you think it's nothing more than a glorified game promotion? Hit me up in the comment section below. As always, I asked you like or dislike the video. It doesn't have to be a thumbs up, it can be a thumbs down. Any feedback is good feedback and will only help me improve on future content. But if you really enjoyed this video, it would help me out tremendously if you shared it on social media platforms with all your friends and followers. Once again, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.